Hi, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrocker in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the Weather Now link on this late Friday evening. It's almost midnight. It's about 1145. And uh, I just wanted to wait until this late to analyze some, uh, some new data that's coming in. And uh, we've got the rain that's moving in right now as of 11.45 p.m. Friday. And that is going to flip over to some wet snow across uh, uh, northern suburbs and inland areas overnight and into early tomorrow morning. So we do have winter weather advisories that have been posted as the areas in purple. Now let me get rid of my picture here and you can see this a little bit better. So this is mainly northern suburbs. Uh, winter storm warning is for the high elevations of uh, Worcester County and out towards uh, the Berkshires. So this area in purple, this is where we stand the best chance of getting some accumulating snow overnight and into early Saturday morning. Now I will show you that accumulation map in just a second. Let's first go to the radar. Now, again, we're taping this as of almost midnight. And uh, the green represents rain, but notice in the higher elevations where the temperature is starting to drop in, uh, in northeast Connecticut and northwest Rhode Island, already getting a mix of wet snow. So what will happen is in this area, this is all going to start to fill in with wet snow as, as some of the colder air aloft starts to, uh, to work down. So uh, the transition to wet snow is likely. Here's the wider view. And you can see all that precipitation, which extends back through Pennsylvania and Ohio. This is all sliding off to the east. And you can see the moisture uh, extending back uh, through, the, uh, through Ohio and um, Pennsylvania and upstate New York. So this is through the overnight, Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon. However, even though we're going to wake up to some snow Saturday morning, as we get deeper into the morning and towards the afternoon, it'll be a raw, chilly day, but it will be mild enough so that we're going to transition back over to rain, uh, rain showers, and some drizzle after a cold start early in the morning with a little bit of snow. All right, so that's what it looks like right now. When we take it into the future, and I want to stop things at around 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, and this is, this is really when the snow is coming down hard. So if I had to like, choose a window of when the snow is coming down pretty hard and heavy, northern suburbs, not the coast, between roughly 2 and 5 o'clock in the morning, and you see this darker strip of blue indicating the wet, heavy snow. Six o'clock in the morning, still snowing uh, inland, rain on the coast. And as we get deeper in the morning and towards the afternoon, you see more green, which represents actually rain showers and some drizzle. So we'll take you in even closer. And let's put this into motion. And look at this. This is three o'clock in the morning, pre-dawn Saturday. And this is moderate to heavy snow. I mean, really coming down heavily even though it may be only for a three four hour period this is 3 a.m by seven o'clock in the morning the intensity notice the blue is not as dark it, it starts to light up a let up a little bit to a lighter snow south here green is rain as we get deeper into the morning notice you see more green which is a uh, rain showers drizzle raw chilly right through late afternoon it's really not until tomorrow uh, saturday evening saturday night that we start to clear out, and this sets the stage for much nicer weather on uh, on Sunday. So I'll show you two snowfall accumulation maps. The first one here, uh, northern suburbs, purple, two to four in this general area. One to two, Providence, Metro, Warwick, Kent County, out towards um, Fall River. And then you may get a coating briefly down here, and then that should wash away. Let me give you a look. And you can see now in the northwest corner of the state, uh, this, well, this whole pink zone, Again, this is your 2 to 4. This is Route 295. So 295 north and west, 2 to 4. The Attleboroughs, Norfolk County, northern Bristol, northern Plymouth County, 2 to 4. To the south of that, the strip of light blue is 1 to 2. And then south of that is a slushy coating. Now, of this 2 to 4, if we end up verifying on the high end, in other words, if we're forecasting 2 to 4, but if we end up with 4 out here, a little concerned that some of these tree limbs are going to start to sag and break. There could be some isolated power outages. So this is not a dry snow. It's wet and heavy and sticky. It has weight to it. So while the tree limbs could probably handle two inches, if we get up to like four, uh, these limbs, some of these limbs could break. There could be some power outages. And if we end up getting an isolated five-inch amount, which I don't have, but it's not out of the question, then the, the outage risk starts to increase out here. So this is something that we'll watch um, very closely. Again, it's not a dry snow. It's the kind of snow that clings like mashed potatoes to tree limbs and power lines, things like that. So here we are on the pre-dawn hours of Saturday, the big, wet, fat flakes of snow that kind of stick together coming down sometimes like they look like waffles. And then as we get deeper into the morning, it transition or it's, we start to get a mix over to more of a, of a rain, chilly showers. And then during the afternoon, it is essentially um, it's rain showers. It's not snow. Raw, chilly, mid-40s. And again, it doesn't really dry out until 
Saturday uh, night. All right, here's your seven-day forecast. And, wow, Sunday's much better. Partly sunny, breezy, dry, milder. High temps about 55 to 60. And we're bringing some light rain showers on Monday, especially near the coastline and mainly during the morning. Mostly cloudy and cooler uh, with a temperature coming in near um, about 50 degrees. So it's, it's kind of like the tail of, uh, of two seasons here with a little hint of winter overnight Saturday morning. And then we're back to spring uh, coming up on um, on Sunday. That's your latest Weather Now update. Check in with Pete Mangione. He's in bright and early on Saturday morning at 6 a.m. Eyewitness News between 6 and um, uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. Certainly WPRI.com, our website. These video things that you're watching right now are constantly updated, and, and we'll be doing a lot of stuff on social media as well. So, uh, yeah, Winter Weather Advisory. Uh, that continues uh, overnight, early Saturday morning for northern suburbs. I'm Tony Petraka. Thanks for logging in. We'll talk to you soon.